Let's figure out the molarity of glacial acetic acid. And glacial acetic acid, this is pure acetic acid, 100% or very close. So let's assume that we have 100% acetic acid here, and let's assume that it's a liquid. So we have the equation molarity equals moles over liters. So we need to find moles, and we can assume we have one liter. So all we really need to do is figure out how many moles of acetic acid are in one liter. We can use the density, either you look this up or it's given to you in a problem. The density tells us that we have 1.049 grams in one milliliter. So we need to convert this to liters, right? So we can use it in the equation and grams. We'll need to convert that to moles because then we have molarity equals moles over liters. We have our moles, our liters, we can solve this problem. So let's convert the density to liters. So we have 1.049 grams in one milliliter to multiply that by a conversion factor here there are a thousand milliliters in one liter so we multiply the top we multiply and divide by the bottom milliliters they're going to cancel out so we're going to have grams per liter so now we're close we have liters here we just need to convert grams to the moles and then we'll be done when we go from grams to moles we divide by the gram formula mass there's a link at the end of this video to help you figure out molar mass for acetic acid so we know one mole is 60.05 grams. That's the molar mass. We multiply the top, divide by the bottom, grams cancel out, and we have 17.47 moles. So now all we're going to do is we're going to put our 17.49 moles. And we divide that by the one liter. That gives us our molarity. We can write that as 17.49 m. And that is the molarity of glacial acetic acid. If you had something like 99.5%, you could multiply 0.995 times the density, 10.49, and that would give you the grams of acetic acid for that. This is Dr. B, calculating the molarity of glacial acetic acid. Thanks for watching.